Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's weather update. So we are likely going to be seeing a cross-country snowstorm at last uh, next week. So looking at the uh, GFS model, looking at around uh, 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time this evening, we see our last storm impacting California from the atmospheric river. And we have a, a storm impacting the eastern portions of New England. And this storm, this final storm across California is going to be the one that is likely going to become the next cross-country snowstorm going into tomorrow afternoon. Uh, this storm system is going to bring heavy snow across the Four Corners area. And then going into Wednesday, we're going to be seeing a Lee cyclogenesis east of the Rockies. And we're going to be starting to see heavy snow develop across portions of northeast Colorado, northern Kansas, southwestern Nebraska, and southeastern uh, Wyoming by Wednesday afternoon. And the snow is going to move across the central plains into the upper Midwest Wednesday night and Thursday, across the Great Lakes uh, on through the day Thursday. So just, this is going to be a fast-moving system as it exits by Friday morning across the Northeast. So looking at the snowfall accumulations for this uh, snowstorm, potential snowstorm, across the uh, uh, four corners, across Arizona, Utah, uh, New Mexico, and Colorado, we're going to be seeing widespread 6 to 12 inches of snow. And in the mountains, we're going to be seeing as much as uh, 2 to 4 feet in some areas, with widespread 1 to 2 feet in the mid-elevations. So we're going to be seeing a lot of snow from this across the four corners. Uh, same with Nevada, about 2 to 10 inches. And then as we go into Nebraska, widespread 6 to 12 inches are possible according to the GFS model from the storm across Iowa, 5 to 7 inches. Same with Wisconsin, about 4 to 7 inches. And across the northern half of Michigan, 4 to 7 inches with this storm coming on Wednesday and Thursday. And looking at the European model for the snowfall accumulations, the European model is more uh, excited about snow, especially across the central plains, with the European putting widespread totals of 6 to 12 inches across the four corners and uh, 1 to 4 feet in the mountains. And then across northeast Colorado, uh, much in Nebraska, northern Kansas, the year the euro is putting anywhere between eight to as much as eighteen inches. So across Iowa, about two to six inches in the euro. Minnesota, about two to six inches. Wisconsin, about four to twelve inches. As well as the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We could be seeing as much as a foot to a foot and a half of snow if the European model pans out. Same for northern lower peninsula of Michigan. And in addition to the snow, we unfortunately have another severe weather uh, threat with this, where the Storm Prediction Center has issued a day five slight risk or day four slight risk across portions of southeast Texas, much of Louisiana and western and central Mississippi for uh, Thursday. So, or actually for Wednesday. So make sure that you are paying attention to the weather, especially if you live across Dixie Alley on Wednesday and Thursday. And for the snow across the Rockies, uh, Plains, and upper Midwest coming Wednesday and Thursday. So thanks for watching this evening's weather update. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.